Hello children today i'll explain you the poem no men are foreign written by james kekup this poem is from beehive textbook in english in this poem the poet talks about two themes universal brotherhood and internationalism now what is universal brotherhood the first theme the poet has taken according to this we all human beings are the children of the same god therefore we are the citizens of the mother earth so we should not divide ourselves by the boundaries of our countries and the second theme internationalism talks about the whole family the whole earth which is one single family and we should destroy all the barriers that stand between one nation and another and the poet says that we should all enjoy the equal status of being human beings so we all are one now i read the first stanza to you remember no man are strange no country is foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes like ours the land our brothers walk upon is earth like this in which we all shall lie so in these lines the poet tells us that we should remember that no man is different and no country is a foreign country now why he says so because he says that we all live upon the same earth although we wear different kinds of clothes different dresses but still we all are human beings and we all breathe in same manner whatever dress we wear whichever country we belong to but we all are breathing the land upon which we walk is the same earth and the same earth is shared by all of us and it is the same earth upon which we all die after we have lived our life so according to the poet why we should be different if we belong to different different countries so he says that we should never forget this thing we should always remember that no man living on the earth is a stranger and no country is a foreign country we all are same we all are living on the same land we all share the same earth that is why we all are same now here is the second stanza they too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvests by wars long winter starved the hands are ours and <clears throat> in their lines we read a labor not different from our own in these lines the poet says that the poet says that we all human beings use the same sun air and water we are using the same nature we all are aware of the qualities of the nature equally and we use all these things for same reasons whichever we can whichever the country we belong to although we may belong to different different places but nature has given us all its good things equally and we all are using them equally we all eat the food which is provided by the fields and the trees which are grown on the same earth even we may belong to any place but still we eat the same food which is grown on same earth everyone likes peace and whenever a war is there every single human being suffers and the weather destroys our crops disregard of any land any country it is grown upon he also says that we all have same hands 
even though we may belong to different different places different lands different countries but we all have same hands with same lines on them and we all do same labor to survive on this earth and whatever things are required basically it's needed by all the human beings in the same manner so he says that where is the difference if we are living on the same earth if we are eating the food which is harvested from the same earth if we all are having body parts like all others are having then where is the difference and what is the difference and that is why he says that no one is different we all are same human beings now i read the third stanza remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand so in these lines the poet once again tells us to remember that we all have eyes like others all the human beings living on the earth wake up they sleep they dream and we all understand understand the strength and love which is there in all our lives the poet says that we all live same kind of life disregard of any land we are living upon there is a similar pattern of life such as birth death growth all these are the normal patterns which are followed by all the human beings living on any part of the world then why do we say that any land is a foreign land to us and that's why he tells us to remember these things that god has given us eyes like others we all sleep and wake like others and we all get strength by love like others then there is no need of calling any land to be a foreign land i read the fourth stanza let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispossess betray condemn remember we who take arms against each other in these lines the poet tells us to remember that if anyone told tells us to hate someone we are not hating anyone else except for our own brothers and sisters he says so because we have been sent on this earth by the same god we are living on the same mother earth we are living the same we are sharing the same sun moon and air and water that's why we all are brothers and sisters so if we hate anyone if we betray anyone we are hating and betraying our own brothers and sisters so the poet says that whatever wrong we do to our own brothers and sisters we will be blamed for our wrong actions and if we are trying to pick up arms against each other if we are trying to destroy the peace of the earth we will be destroying our peace only we will be taking arms against ourselves only so whatever wrong we will do we will be blamed for it now here's the last stanza it is the human earth that we defile our hell of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own remember no man are foreign and no countries strange in these lines the poet says that we are living on the same earth and if we are trying to destroy it we are trying to destroy our own earth if we are polluting the earth we are polluting our own earth war and killing and hatred all these things are making our earth dirty our actions are dirty our words are dirty if we are going to spoil these things 
the air we breathe will be destroyed and its purity will be destroyed the land upon which we walk will be destroyed the love which we share with all the human beings will be destroyed and it will be because of us because we think that others are foreigners to us and we are not their brothers and sisters our land is different and their land is different therefore the poet tells us to remember that no men are foreign and no countries strange no one living on this earth is a foreigner and no country upon this earth is a stranger country we all are same living on the same mother earth.